Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. In today's really fun video, we're going to be using some dark chocolate. We're going to create some nice shells, and then later on, we're going to fill them with a really nice white chocolate eggnog ganache. Right beside me in my chocolate tempering machine, I have tempered some really nice dark chocolate. This is Calbo, and it's recipe number 811. Really nice chocolate. The chocolate tempering machine that I've used to temper my chocolate today is the ChocoVision Revelation 2B and I do have a number of videos where I show that. I even have an unboxing so if you want to check that video out I'll put a link to it in the description box below this video. So I've got my ladle here. So this chocolate tempering machine can hold one and a half pounds of chocolate and it tempers dark chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate. So a really amazing machine. So at this point here I am just filling all of the cavities. I don't have to do all of them for this video I'm just gonna do maybe half of them. So I just want to fill them right to the top you can hand paint them. In many of my videos you'll see me hand painting with a little paintbrush going into each cavity. You can do that as well. I just want to get the air bubbles out. You can see little air bubbles appearing. That's the air rising upward. Just some more taps. good like that and then I'm just going to turn it right over and just let all of that chocolate come back out and my chocolate at this point is about 30 degrees Celsius. You want to make sure that you get enough out because you don't want the shell too thick. Look underneath, that looks good. Then I'll turn it back over. Then I'll just take my palette knife and go right over, just like that. good and then I have a tray here and I'm simply going to invert this right like that and I'm going to let that sit there for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to flip it back over I'm going to chill it for about 10 minutes and then I'll bring it back out just to completely crystallize for the next part of my video we are going to be using a really nice white chocolate eggnog ganache which you see here, there's a little bit of nutmeg in there, you can actually see it in there, which adds a really nice finishing touch to this white chocolate ganache. If you want to see me making this chocolate ganache, you can check out the recipe. I will put a link to it at the end of this video and also in the description box. So I've got myself a disposable piping bag, I'm going to fill that up now, then I'll come back and we're going to fill our chocolates. So now we have our really nice white chocolate eggnog ganache and we are ready to go. Okay, that's good. And now I'm going to pop this into the fridge for about 10 minutes. I just want the ganache to set up a little bit and then we are going to cap it with the chocolate on the top which will actually become the bottom. Now that my ganache has set up a little bit, we are ready to cap these off. So I've got some more tempered dark chocolate and the easiest way I found to do, do this is just to fill them up like this. So we just want to 
cap them or top them off and this will become the foot. Just like that. That's good. Then we'll just give it a little tap. Wipe this down. So I think that looks pretty good. Everything's sealed up. So I'm going to pop these into the fridge for about 10 minutes just to set them up. And then I'm going to bring them out and I'm going to let them sit there for a number of hours before we unmold them. Now that my chocolate has completely cooled, we're just going to flip it over. Oops, <laughs> you can already see how nicely they just fell out. That's the magic of tempered chocolate. These ones here were empty cavities, but there we have it. I didn't realize they were going to come out that quickly. But that is always fun to see that. Every single one came out. Look at this. Really nice. Get them all together. Wow. Let me zoom in. The only thing left to do, of course, is to cut into one of these because I do want to show you what they look like inside. So let's cut into this. Look at this. Whoa. I'll turn that around. And look at that. That really nice white chocolate eggnog ganache. Amazing. Of course, I'm going to have to go in for a little sample here. Mm, that is really really good. I can't tell you how good that is. You have to try these out for yourself to really have that great experience. That really nice tempered dark chocolate it gives me a really nice snap when I bite into it. Amazing. So that's it for this really fast video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. And if you're on Facebook, you can check me out at facebook.com slash bake like a pro. And just before I go, if you want to see the recipe for the white chocolate eggnog ganache, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video and also below this video in the description box. So that's it for today and I'll see you next time.